so what are they saying about me? Oh, let me see here. This one says that your boyfriend is a too feminine. Like he played both sides of the sushi bar, but he don't like fish or surf clam. He only like octopus. But this is a terrible analogy. Where's that useless cutesy sidekick of yours that walks on the tips of his toes? What the hell? <laughs> It's just a concussion or massive internal bleeding or something. Poke him. That wasn't Saki's illicit booze bath. Something is going on outside. <laughs> ah, so definitely now this guy really dead. He's like a furry pancake. Now, oh, we could we could license that. Yes, that's what we do. License part of a balanced breakfast. Princess robot bubblegum, crispy slatchy pops, and special furry pancakes. Oh, no! Oh, the ancient ones warned this day would come. What ancient ones, Master? Oh, those geriatric tight asses at the bank. They said they're gonna foreclose on me, knock down the secret temple, and build a 24-hour drive through massage parlor with, uh, you know, the human traffic Australian chicks. They love it. <laughs> you don't even have to leave your car. She just reach through the window, wanky, wanky, wanky. Hey, bloke, you want a cockatoo? You know? Uh, okay, dude. Okay, girl, there is a big wrecking ball outside, and they're gonna smash your house down. We know! Calm down, bitch. You're gonna ruin my hair. Master, you taught me discipline. Why haven't you paid the bill? I was, uh, very distracted. I have a 300-year mortgage to pay, and my pension got cut. It's hard time for everybody. Pension? I thought you was the ancient ninja master, is what you told me. I am! Many years ago, I was an ancient ninja postmaster for about five years. Then I retire on a 275-year pension. I can throw a postcard across the room and give you a terrible paper cut. The post office was horrible. Licking, stamping, licking, and licking. God damn it, it's like dealing with my second wife. Your face goes numb, you take a coffee break, you turn back to a soul-crushing job that leaves you feeling terrible afterwards. Hello, master. How are we gonna save our house? Fuck the vinyl. Wait, merchandising! But Master, since the last DVD got edited by censors in the West, we don't sell so many. So no more merchandising. No more Princess Robo Bubblegum dolls, or pencil cases, or rulers, or blow-up companions, or love balls, or erotic massage oils, or all the other creepy shit you've sunk all our money into. Sometimes the path is not straight, but it's still true. Oh, I like that line. I like that. Maybe I sell it on a bumper sticker. Anyway, the path of truth is still the path of merchandising. Merchandising, personal merchandising, merch, merch, merch. I never knew you worked in marketing. Oh, it's easy. Any fool with half an MBA can do it. Listen, you will save our house in the time-honored way. You will please horny men one after the other. They will be standing in line for a chance at you, and we can charge them $20 a pop. Master, I won't be a massage girl. No, stupid bitch. We go to comic convention. You sign an autograph, and we sell some more action figures. We rebrand the erotic oil as a, as a personal usage erotic oil for the lonely lover, and the branded socks to clean yourself up with afterwards. You know, it's prostitution of a different kind. But legal personal merchandising. Oh, it makes my loins ache. Oh, this is so exciting. Never in my years of being a blind androgynous child with a huge sword could I have imagined such wonders. Yes, truly the script writers have reached new heights. Time for an incongruous clip of an arousing girl fight. little blue raccoon will get you a new one. Master! Oh, please, oh, please. Shut up! Cry me a 
Mia River, you're a big girl. This is exciting rebranding opportunity. Nothing sells like a cute animal sidekick. We have auditions. We'll change them every season. Flavor of the mom, fuck it. Germany? Okay, you do. Humpy, humpy. Audition over. Blind boy, kill the rest. Come on, we've got to get to the convention center and save this ancient temple. <laughs> Just a mash it on the floor. Princess Robot Bubblegum is brought to you by... No Go Vodka. The new premium vodkas come from a place where everyone's depressed, most people are unemployed, and a few rich people have stolen all the money. Not Russia, the Midwest. T, it's me. Hey, you up to anything? You wanna hang out? Well, I guess so, even though I figured we weren't friends anymore. Great, I'm on my way. Hey, Frank, I'm supposed to be meeting Trevor and I need a little moral support. Hey, yo, ain't we got to, like, handle that thing? No worries, man, I'll see you soon. Hey, sweet cheeks, is your watch broken? You're late! Michael, man, good to see you! I'd never feed it back to you. Yeah. Coming over next Wow. Man, I, I'm glad to see you again. I mean, this is great. You're saying that, but I'm detecting, uh, I don't know, tension. Yeah, no, no, that's not you. It's me. I hold it in my shoulders. Oh, really? You need a massage? <laughs> no, no, uh, thanks. I'm, uh, you know, the shoulders are a symptom of a bigger problem. I I'm working on it with my therapist. Grown-up kids, grown-up marriage. It's hard. 
Oh, 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 yeah, I bet. How about this, huh? Just like old times. You know, I wish I'd have gone and found you. Do you? Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, uh, certainly. If I'd have known you were alive, and it'd be like this, <laughs> absolutely, in a heartbeat. So, how'd you think it would be? I mean, when you decided not to look, how were you thinking it would be? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I ain't communicating it right. I, I thought you were dead. This is just all so overwhelming, man. I mean, we got a second chance at this, you know? I'm getting a little emotional, actually. I mean, who gets second chances, huh? Crocodile tears. Let's go have some drinky poos. Weren't you supposed to pick me up out? That car totally is hot. You are looking too delicious. Oh man. Feel my liver melting. Oh, it's like your spine, <laughs> like your soul, like your personality. Ah, give me a break, will ya? Why are you such a dick to me? We both know why. I'm fine. D don't get drunk with me. Seriously? Huh? Can you this isn't just fun. About it? Get it drunk. Then you call me a turd. I'm sorry, man. I love you, it's me I hate. I'm not a nice man. I need help, I hate myself. It's okay, Trevor. You're, you're not that bad, I guess. Relax. Oh shit, I'm drunk. I tell you what, Mikey, my life now is one long orgy of easy sex, strong meth, and good times with good people, but I miss the old days. Oh, you do, do you? What? Us? Always broke? On the run? Crazy shit? The place always covered in snow? You miss that crap? Yeah, sure. I miss my innocence. <laughs> My innocence! You? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I miss not knowing the people you like most turn out to be snakes. Oh, stay Hello? calm and clean out your register. Please take whatever you want. This guy's crazy. I'd listen to him. You know, he might shoot you even if you give it to him. I'm his hostage, by the way. Aren't you gonna you fight him? You've cleaned Fine. me out. Resist. 